here, Jackie said to me, she's like, I want you to say something about yourself. And I was like, that is not in the plan. <laughs> so I will tell you this, that I am passionate about helping people become more bold in the expression of themselves, their mission, and their truth in this life. And I hope that you will be empowered by these closing words today. And as we honor the life and legacy of Martin Luther King Jr. today and his fight for racial justice and equality, I want to challenge you to look within. His words were spoke for every nationality to feel no segregation. Just as it started with him, it starts with you and it starts with me. His dream and the change he created sprouted from the depths of his soul. And that is where it starts with you and with me. It is a deeper recognition that we have been taught societal and cultural constructs that do not always aid us in loving one another. More often than not, fear drives us further apart from ourselves and each other instead of closer together. In these divisions, it is in these divisions that Martin Luther King Jr. dedicated his life to and inspires many of us to do the same. To advocate for equal access to healthcare, equal access to education, equal access to housing, equal access to jobs, equal access to financial lending, equal access to representation in local and federal governments, and the list goes on. And although progress has been made, there is more to be done. Can I get an amen? Amen. That? Yes, we are not finished yet. We're not finished yet. I wonder what more could be done when we truly look within and expand our understanding of the connection between all of us. The connection you feel when you look into a child's eyes. The connection you feel when you see someone struggling in the way you have struggled. The connection you feel to others when you are open, when you have an open heart and without judgment. Praise. The connection you feel when you see yourself in another. What would it feel like to be more connected? How can we be more connected? These are the questions we should be asking ourselves. What would be possible? When we feel connection, we feel compassion, we feel strength, and we feel a wholeness instead of feeling separate. Maybe you're thinking to yourself, what more can I do? Or I don't even know what to do. And let me tell you that as you go to the MLK Center, there will be a lot of people who would love to answer those questions and accept your help. While speaking before the Ebenezer Baptist Church in 1968, Martin Luther King Jr. said this, everybody can be great because anyone can serve. You don't have to have a college degree to serve. You don't have to make your subject and verb agree to serve. You only need a heart full of grace and a soul generated by love. One more time. You only need a heart full of grace and a soul generated by love. Amen. Will you join me and everyone else here in sharing the responsibility? The responsibility to dismantle the power of fear. To see how we are more alike than we are different. And to take the action that tells the person sitting or standing next to you right now, I see you, I hear you. The only way this legacy and the fight for racial justice and equality can continue is if we look within and recognize that all of it, all of it starts with you and it starts with me. Thank you so much.